smartphones have changed how easy it can be to record something happening at a moment's notice, especially involving police. Our Ohio State House newsroom reporter Jason Aubrey tells us an effort is underway with lawmakers to protect those recordings and the people making them. After seeing bills introduced in other states that would prohibit the recording of police officers, Senator Charlita Tavares decided to renew her efforts to protect that right for Ohioans. This eyewitness video of an officer in South Carolina shooting Walter Scott is a prime example of what State Senator Charlita Tavares calls free speech that should be protected. If not for bystanders recording most of these incidents on their phones, we would not have known about a majority of these shooting incidents. Her bill would make it so in most cases police could not seize a bystander's phone if they're recording an incident the police are involved in, like this one of Columbus police subduing a suspect. There have been countless cases of police officers ordering people to turn off their cameras, confiscating phones, and arresting those who attempt to capture footage of them. Despite it being a common misconception, it is actually perfectly legal to film police officers on the job. The bill sets guidelines for how the footage can be voluntarily shared by citizens or obtained by police. If a person turns the phone over, or if it is seized, the police would only be able to look at the video in question. If the video is lost, damaged, or destroyed, the owner could be reimbursed $500 by the court. And I wanted to make sure that our state wasn't one of those states that was going in the opposite direction of free speech. This bill would not protect the recording device of the subject of the police incident if they're arrested. Local for you at the State House, Jason Aubrey, NBC4.